present to this parliament a bill to... Minister Duma said the primary objective of the bill is to amend KCHL Authorization Act 2022 to formulate legal solutions that will recognize and balance the rights of the workers to go on strike. Mr. Speaker, the proposed amendment will mitigate any threat of union strikes within the majority state-owned enterprises that provide essential services to the people of this country. PNG TUC Acting General Secretary Anton Sekum said the bill is against the constitutional rights of workers. He said it will achieve nothing but protect the interests of the minority that are in power, ensuring minimal opposition to their objectives. This is dangerous for a fragile democracy like Papua New Guinea. Mr. Sekum said in setting Part 5B, Section 46 to the current KCHL Authorization Act 2021 to control strikes by unions in SOEs is nothing but a draconian act driven by dishonest leaders. He added that the amendment bill has not gone through the statutory vetting process. Given the nature of these proposed amendments, it, it affects labor. It affects people working in an organization. It's not something a member could, should take it straight to the floor of parliament. It must come through a consultation process. The vice president of the Congress said the government should focus on fixing the country's financial status. How about you change laws with regard to how you get your allowances? How about you change laws with regard to how the DSIP is managed? A lot of that is mismanaged and you're not doing laws that will, will curtail those problems going on. PNG TUC is calling on the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises to withdraw the amendment bill in the next parliament session. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News.